Good morning, everybody, and happy summer. My name is Mrs. Croc. I work at the district office, and today I am reading to you. My book that I chose is called Catherine's Bike Was Wonderfully Strange. This is about a little girl, Catherine, who thinks that her bike can change the weather. So let's get started. This book is by J.T.K. Bell. Catherine's bike was wonderfully strange. This book was dedicated to Lily and Alethea. Catherine's bike was wonderfully strange. When she shifted the gears, the weather would change. From first into second, the wind would kick up. From second to third, the clouds would erupt. Around and around and around went the chain. The faster she pedaled, the harder it rained. From third into fourth, up spun a typhoon. Do you see the typhoon here? That's also called a tornado. And the faster she pedaled, the harder it blew. Over the bridge, around and then under, the faster she pedaled, the louder it thundered. From fifth into sixth, the sun would break through, and the faster she pedaled, the hotter it grew. Look how hot she is. Oh. When she ran out of breath, she had gone 20 miles. So she tapped on the brakes and she rested a while. She put down the kickstand and lowered her feet and the sun disappeared and so did the heat. Then spinning the handles around on their bars while ringing the bells would bring, bring out the stars. Lifting the seat would hoist up the moon and the tires would fill up like hot air balloons. She floated up slowly like smoke from a fire and balanced herself like a bird on a wire. She pedaled so high she could take in the view of the neighborhood lights from the park to the zoo. As she floated along, she lost track of time till she heard the sound of the church bells chime. And then she let out the air from the big balloon tires and floated down past the telephone wires. The stars were above and her house was below her as the air from the tires came out slower and slower. She touched down in her yard while they went on deflating. There's her house. And ran into her house where her dinner was waiting. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Go outside and play. Go ride your bike. Have a good summer. See you in the fall.